What's going on everyone? It's Wilo Mason here with another fantastic product by Bam Presto. I say it's fantastic already before I even open it because I have gotten a fake if you've seen my other videos. Um, one definition to say that I have a really good feeling about this is this fantastic little gold piece right here. Well, gold colored piece. It's a sticker. Anyways, that's a good indication that we have a legitimate Bam Presto item. As you can see, Crane King and Sculptures. Well, we have Yamcha. I talked about this earlier in one of my videos, how excited I was, because I really enjoy the Dragon Ball series. So I'm really pumped about getting all these, because it just brings back so many memories of the Dragon Ball series. Like, when I started collecting these recently, it just made me want to rewatch the episodes, and I've already began watching the Dragon Ball series. So... Here, as I said, you have Yamcha back whenever he was a bandit. He would go around and rob people and steal, and he was a thief. He wasn't really much of a hero. He was more or less, I mean, he's, he was more of a I steal to survive. Uh, it'd be really awesome if uh, Par, his little uh, sidekick, was with him. So, let's begin on, by opening this box. I'm super excited to see how this is. I love these boxes. I keep them more than likely by the time I'm done collecting them. I'm going to hate that I have them all. But as for right now, they're great. Come straight from Japan. You can only get these in Japan. Well, obviously you can get them here now because people have had them shipped over here and sell them here. But they are exclusive Japan items. Hence the Crane King. You put them in crane machines. You should only be able to get them out of crane machines. Which makes their rareness very uh, sporadic. Right. Let's see here. Good, pretty good packaging as always. Um, let's see here. Uh, gotta love all this tape. I'm not completely against it. Just means the product's probably in, kept in good condition. Nice. Not that many pieces because if you all watched my last video with General uh, General slash Mercenary Tao, you will know that some of these come with a lot more pieces. Or if you saw my Shinron Dragon, you'll know that that came with a lot of pieces too. Uh, that one's a little more of annoying because of just the way it was designed. Uh, but as far as my Mercenary Tau went, as you can see him here, uh, almost all these pieces, pieces are in, uh, exchangeable. Like the, the log he rides on uh, has a platform. His arms, you can switch out for his mechanical arms, and you can switch out his head for a mechanical head. Uh, that was a pretty awesome piece. I highly recommend if you're a Dragon Ball collector to get this one. Here's all his little pieces. They even gave different mouths so you can have different action mouths. Like one where his mouth is open like he's screaming, like he's attacking, or just his serious I have a sweet mustache mouth. Alright, back to Yamcha. Here before I start losing pieces. Yeah, there they go. Falling on the floor. It's all good. All right. And if you haven't noticed, I got my sweet Bulma here to hang out with my friend Yamcha. Because you know, back in the day, they were kind of all about each other before they ever, or before Bulma ever wanted to be with Cheetah. This one's a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but I am not complaining because I. I really am glad that it's kind of this size because I wanted to put this one. When I do all the Dragon Ball ones, uh, I'm, I'm going to get a, a specific, like, a shelf so I can start putting them on the shelves. And I want to uh, put them together. Like, I want to put my Balma and my uh, my Tao. His name's Tao Pepe. And uh, put them together. And I have Tien Shenron coming in with Chaosu. I'll probably put them with the Dragon Ball side. Uh... Piccolo will be a mixture. If there's different pose Piccolos, which I'm positive there is, I've seen them, I will probably get different versions of Piccolo and just spread them along. Because if you've watched all the Dragon Ball series uh, since uh, King Piccolo pretty much got a hole blasted in him, after he got a hole blasted in him, he kind of, to preserve, him, preserve himself, he made another copy of himself, and uh, which was Piccolo Jr., so, and once that happened, you almost never see him age. Like, he never shows any change in age. We have a lot of these characters who get older and they their appearances change. I mean, even Vegeta's appearance change, which, I mean, uh, Saiyans age much, much lower than regular humans. I'm assuming this goes right here. Well, we can just look at the picture. Pictures on here are always pretty 
pretty certain. The only one that ever came with an instruction manual is my man uh, Tao, Tao Pei, uh, because he had a lot of pieces. So I'm assuming his sword would be in a position to where he could easily grab it, his cloth, his ribbons up front. Oh, man. Remember, everything with these kind of go a specific way. So if something's not fitting, it probably doesn't go that way. All right. Actually, I can tell you this one, this way goes on the exact way, because if you notice, this little notch, they put a little notch in it so that it only can go one way. I'm surprised his head isn't detached. Some of these are like their heads are detached. But we've got some pretty good detail. I think he's probably one of the first ones where like, you can his face, try to get a focus on his face here. He keeps wanting to focus on my finger. There we go. Pretty decent detail. Uh, this is probably one of the very uh, first ones I've got where like the mouth isn't more detailed on the inside, but with his teeth being clenched, I could kind of see why they didn't weren't able to get down in there. Uh, I'll show you Bowman's. Actually, no, Bowman didn't have it. Uh, do I have one? Uh, my Shinron Dragon's that way. I won't mess with it. I'll just get him together. I don't want to push too much. I don't push on his hair and tear something. I mean, even though some of this stuff is pretty sturdy, at the same time, it's, I mean, with anything like this, it's, you break it. Be pushing down on him, pop his head off. I wouldn't, I'd be upset. I almost want to cry. I was really excited about getting him in. I think that's about as far down as it's going to go. Like I said, I don't want to force too much. I like how he has an action pose too, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm pretty confident. As you can see, there's a slight gap in his body right here. Uh, I may tweak with that, because if I push down in certain places too much, I can feel his head kind of torquing. I really don't want to do that. There we go, I think I may have got it. Okay, good, I think I got it. Well, luckily I don't have to take that apart anymore because he doesn't have interchangeable pieces. Sweet, and, and I didn't break anything. So, this is great. Um, I like how they put this the minor details. This one seems like it's not it's very detailed But whoever painted it uh, I feel like I don't know. It's just I mean if you look at Balma I feel like she's a little more in depth of detail I'm not saying Yamcha isn't detailed at all because he, he he is uh, You can see Balma. I mean, there's quite a quite a bit of exact detail from the little her shirts, all, I mean, her pants, the wrinkles in her pants, down to, like, the little, uh, like, buttons on her boot that go around uh, the cover right here, the names. I mean, she even has her name written on her uh, sleeve, just like she does in the show. Uh, pretty fantastic. And, I mean, like, all the things on her arms. It's pretty sweet. I mean, everything's pretty... Detail. And this one is detail, but it doesn't seem like they went as in depth. I mean, they did really good with the details of his uh, his muscles. Uh, they did a pretty good job with his hair. The only complaint I think I might have with his hair. Actually, I really don't think I'm gonna have any complaint. I saw, I thought I saw something, but I, it was just, I think it was just this notch sticking up. Yeah, I thought it was like excess material, but it's actually just his hair sticking up because everybody does in Dragon Ball. All right, let's get him on his stand. I really wish it would stay focused on him and not my hand. Awesome. Let's get that out of the way so I can move this stuff back. Okay, he's obviously gonna go somewhere around here. All right, let's get this piece out. I got more coming in already. I tell you, every time I get one, I'm so happy with it, I order another one. And then that one comes in so happy with it, order another one. So I kind of got a backlog of stuff coming in. Thing is, some of these things I order come straight from Japan. And when they come straight from Japan, obviously there is a waiting time. And that is quite okay. I think his foot goes on the back of this right there. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. So to keep him, I don't know why, I guess to keep him from being kind of bouncy. Which, I mean, I kind of don't mind the way it is. I mean, he's supposed to be kind of at an angle. 
which I'll move my device so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I'm, my stand for my uh, phone is kind of at its limit for as low as it'll go, so I'll take, take it off here in a second. But we got this shiny little piece. Let me take this off. And this goes here. Like so. And then that little notch goes on the back of his leg here. And then this goes here. Don't even see a huge need for that black piece because as you saw a second ago when I had him on there, he sat pretty well. I think it's just to keep him more, more solid because you say you don't bounce. So you don't have to risk bending or warping that. Because I mean, I, over time the weight probably would bring him down. So I'm not completely against it. I could just set him at an angle so he's not, so it's not, yeah, he's probably going to sit like that. All right. Looks pretty sweet. I'm really happy with this. So, the way I kind of have it, I'm gonna have a 10 coming in soon. I uh, ordered a, uh, a Goku from the like the last season or like the last episodes of Dragon Ball when he comes back as a teenager after he trained uh, King Kai's. I'm not King Kai's. At a... Oh, man, I can't remember. The Guardians, the Protector, the other Piccolo's other half. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on him. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, but he was up there training with him. Now he's a teenager, training with like, Mr. Popo. Pretty awesome. He looks fantastic. I like it. Like I said, he's not as, his sword is in pretty good in depth. Uh, from the way he's charging, you'd think they would have adjusted this to angle back a little. Because most of their action poses, like, he's going this way. Okay, so he's looking that way. His All that's going that way. His hair's kind of going that way. Uh, this is kind of just around. Like I said, that's just nitpicking. I mean, if you want to nitpick, that's what I'm going to say. Outside of that... If you, it just, it's amazing. It's a great piece. Uh, let me tell you, he it, it was worth the money. 100% worth the money. I'm sorry that it's not wanting to focus on him. It's really liking General or Mercenary Tao right now. Alright, well, this is going to conclude my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Check back soon. Uh, I think my other ones will be in early next week i think one comes in this weekend uh and then one comes in monday or tuesday of next week monday i'm gonna have a long day at work so i don't know if i'll be able to make the video as soon as he comes in uh but the one for the weekend i will be able to put up uh i don't want to ruin i already told you i'm getting a goku but i don't want to ruin you know because i got another one coming in he's gonna be the first character of the group set that i'm going to get which have been difficult because people want a lot of money for them and they're already sold out. But you'll find out in another video. Thanks for watching. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions or if you want me to look for any individual character specifically and I'll try to pick them up. Later.